Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot. For your January 2022, is it in the cards, love tarot reading. This is a love reading for all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to all of you for your support. I send you love and the energy to attract more love into your life every single day. And if you are new here, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. On Fridays, I always do a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. So today's reading, of course, is a love reading, but I also do a more detailed Celtic cross style reading. And I did a predictive reading for the year of 2022, which was fun. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Sagittarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Sagittarius need to know, please? For the best and highest good of all concerned with Sagittarius. Love advice for Sagittarius, please. All right, so we will begin here with the tarot, and then we'll have three cards that represent your energy, three cards for the person you're attracting, three cards and the advice. You've got the four, the two of wands, and the queen of cups. They have the king of pentacles, the hierophant, and the six of cups. You've got the moon, the wheel of fortune. This is cool. And the chariot and the advice. Well, I'm going to tell you, this thing's going to take off fast. Whatever this is, it's a new phase. And it's like, I see it as like blowing your hair back. This is amazing. You've got four major arcana here. You've got a marriage card. You've got love all over the place. Um, you've got Pisces, Cancer, Taurus here with you. You've got all the fixed signs here. You have water, fire, and earth as well. So your energy, boy, are you ready? The two of wands, four of wands, and the queen of cups. It's absolutely beautiful. You know, we love to see water energy in a love reading. It's all about love, but it's also about having that beautiful life. The Queen of Cups is mastery of the water, okay, of the water element. So she's like mastery of love in your life, being in love. It's it's fertility as well. Um, it's just having a, a that beautiful life. Like I said, it's wonderfully creative. The Queen of Cups too, I mean, the water is also about intuition. The Queen of Cups is an intuitive. So trust your instincts. You know, if you get a call and somebody says, do you want to go out and you go, no, not really a friend. And you, you go, but I don't know why. I just feel like I need to. It's that kind of stuff where you say, I just, I'm going to go. I don't know why, but I just feel like I need to do this. That's the kind of stuff where you get into the action of that wand energy and there's passion there. You've got love and passion in the reading. So the two of wands, of course, it's that visionary. So use those skills. Use that skill of the art of visualizing, seeing what you want as if you're already in it through your own first person eyes, like you're getting all the, bringing in all those tones of reality, the the five senses, right? Like it's a, a concrete thing that you're experiencing that your subconscious doesn't know the difference. So you're in that two of wands, you're creating. And so the subconscious will have it, you know, become reality. That's just part of how it all works. So with the four of wands, that's a card of celebration, of marriage, of synchronicities. And you may see that you're manifesting things. It could be little things at first. And I know there's really no big difference, but, you know, things that don't have as many moving pieces, right? You know, you manifest some certain phrase and then it keeps happening all over and you go, oh my God, that's crazy. Um, but with the four of wands, it's like manifesting on steroids or something. That four of wands is a, a card of celebration ceremonies weddings so you have card of celebration ceremony weddings so do they with the hierophant and so with this i do feel like they're telling you you have a life partner here sagittarius it's so, your partner for life is showing up here now if you're already with this person you've got a beautiful relationship you have cards of fertility here happiness long-term happiness and you know this this energy of commitment so the King of Pentacles, this is who you're attracting. King of Pentacles, Hierophant, Six of Cups. Maybe a Taurus that you're attracting. Could be just an Earth sign in general. Any sign really, but I just say that because it's in their energy. And it's possible too that they're just a very stable energy. They're a very stable person. You can talk to them about anything. 
Um, they may be competitive with themselves, but I don't see them as competitive or arrogant with other people. They don't need to brag about who they are. It's like a very humble kind of energy, but you know they're successful. Okay, they don't need to advertise it. There's something about the way they carry themselves, the way they speak, that it just feels like success is is all around them. And of course, with the you know, with the King of Pentacles, they may have had a very successful, I get athletic history, like if they were in high school sports or something like that. It might be one of those things you go to their childhood home and you find like a, you know, shelves of trophies for something that they never told you about. It's not to be secretive. They just, you know, they just kind of play stuff down a little bit. Um, now with the Hierophant, that's high moral values. It's somebody who's so integrous. You can they mean what they say and you can trust it. Uh, it's a card though. I mean, it's it's your highest self, your highest spiritual guidance. And it's a card they say, be still and know. I feel like this person has a very calming energy. It's also a card of psychic intuition, which you have in your energy too. So you may already be psychically linked. Or if you're together, you're going to find that, that you're doing simultaneous texts and calls all the time because that your energy is so closely aligned with this person. Um, but there's devotion with the Hierophant. It's a card of partnership, marriage, devotion, spirituality. And it's a kind of energy, too, where you'll adapt with life. You, you're malleableness, so there's no rigidity with it. It's an energy that's got a nice flow. And so with the Six of Cups, again, water energy. Sixes are all about harmony and balance and symmetry. There's a very a nice reciprocity in this relationship, that give and take that helps to sustain things. There's no resentment here at all. I mean, you know how sometimes people um, keep score of stuff, right? There was even a couple on a talk show one time where they had a, a scorecard of who was doing more. It was just insane. And so with this, though, it's that energy where you do things, but you, there's no strings attached to it. You do them because it's out of love. And, and I mean, when I say you, I mean both of you. Whoever this is, it's that kind of energy. They want that reciprocal partnership. So we love this. You've got a new phase with the moon. Um, you know, now I will say with the Six of Cups, it can be somebody related to your past. And with the moon, you do have those watchtowers in the backdrop. It can be about just keeping tabs or somebody that you reconnect with. But the moon brings in abundance. It's a new cycle. So set your intentions. Know that new things are on the horizon. New things are coming in that are wonderful. The moon too, it's an energy of source. It's everything comes from source energy. So meditate like we talked about with the Hierophant. Quiet your mind and let the universe, the keys to the universe in the, in the Hierophant be delivered to your feet like they are stationed at the Hierophant's feet. With the Wheel of Fortune, that's the Wheel of Life. You have, a, it's a, a cycle that turns in your favor. It's the Wheel of Fortune, not the Wheel of Misfortune. It's a wheel where everything, anything that was stagnant, that you've been waiting on, that you've been wondering about, here it is. It's right here, right now. The Wheel of Fortune, like I said, can be unexpected changes, but they move with some speed. So all of a sudden you meet somebody and it's like, you know, right away, this is, you know, forever and, and always kind of energy. You know right away that it's the right person for you. And so with the Wheel of Fortune, you'll feel blessed. You'll feel divine guidance. You'll feel like your higher self is leading you and guiding you. And the the chariot we love, it's successful conclusions. It is it can be a bit of a willful energy, but it's law of attraction energy. So it may be about redirecting your own point of attraction utilizing your own will to even to su not suppress, but quiet down when we have those negative thoughts that come in. That way they don't get legs and run. You know, we don't want to have some kind of a, you know, brief thought that makes us feel a little sad turn into a big deal. The chariot will help you to direct your own thinking into this place of getting exactly what you want. And it also too is a card of balance. This is also a card you have cards of travel here too. So it may be a relationship where you travel a lot. You're out to see the world. You're very open to new experiences with this person. Um, but there's great support here too. It's a very supportive relationship. One where you, I feel like you can talk into the night for hours and there's no judgment. There's no pushing back. There's, it really is beautiful and it's not wimpy. Okay. It's not like, it's like, well, I can, you know, talk because there's no opinion. There's no personality. There's a personality here for sure, Sagittarius. So 
beautiful energy and um let's see here what the angels have to say for you and i would say if you you know if you're in something already i mean it's taking off it's definitely not not ending anytime soon this is awesome All right, so meditation brings answers. I think we talked about that. I mean, that's your number one resource, quieting that mind and listening for your own intuition and guidance, telling you which direction to go in next. We all have it. They say get more information. Well, it all begins with you, right? And so spirit and, and your guides will lead you. Improving health, mind, body, spirit. So it may be more of a spiritual, mental kind of health. You have in the near future. So again, with the Wheel of Fortune, that can take um, action very suddenly. All of a sudden, there they are. And you've got a yes. So is it in the cards? I'd say yes, it is, Sagittarius. There's love here for you. I love you too, and I'll be back again soon.